what up boys what up gals what up bird brains welcome to the warframe video it's your boy gaz and here we are with another dev workshop post thing that is like two in a row i think we had one like two days ago or yesterday or something like that and here we are with the zephyr rework now we're going to be going over it here it's not as long as the railjack one that's for sure um and there is no abilities being replaced so it's just going to be changes and touch-ups to her current abilities uh and i think she will be a lot better honestly uh she's also getting a second passive pretty much so gonna be good stuff going on there make sure you are subbed to this youtube channel and make sure you check out the live streams whenever you want to or if you don't want to i mean there's lots of there's like 500 videos we passed 500 videos on the channel a couple of weeks ago so dang all right let's get right into it let's quit wasting time here we have the zephyr prime and zephyr normal rework and we've got a video from Pablo to assist us along our way. Because he's the one who reworked her. That's how you know it's going to be maybe pretty good. So, I'm going to, I don't know, should we have him talk or no? We'll have him talk a little bit. A tour of the Zephyr rework. Uh, so, you, All right. the dive bomb is a little... Uh, so, let's just got, skip uh, ahead. Changes. Uh, the dive bomb is a little more forgiving, so I can aim there and still dive bombs. The AoE on her dive bomb is increased. The damage is also heavily increased on her dive bomb ability. As you try it right now on live, it's like a tiny little circle. Tiny little circle. Tiny little circle. All right, let's see what else we got here. You can now fly in the air with Zephyr if you hold down the first ability as well. All right. This, which is more like a fun meme build, but you know, you gotta have fun. So yeah, if you use the augment mod for her dive bomb. One is now you can press and hold, you can hold. There's the flying. And it'll do go into this hover mode. Where you can start delivering that from above, uh, and this synergizes really well with her new, um, where her added. Uh, her new passive, or rather, a bonus passive, is you get a hundred and fifty percent increased critical chance while airborne. I, that's probably gonna be like off the unmodded base, so don't get too excited. It's not gonna be like red critting on everything with Zephyr's passive while airborne, but it will be a nice little bump. And since you can fly uh, basically now by holding on the button, it's some nice synergy for sure. Uh, once you are floating like this, it will drain energy per second. Um, so yeah, if you if you like the power fantasy of being a flying bird of wind control and death, this Zephyr rework will definitely be right up your alley, and I, it's it's making me happy. As someone that did buy Zephyr Prime Access when that came out, uh, this is good. This is good to see. Moving on to her second ability, the Air burst. It is going to be getting a nice little buff here, where the uh, the suction of it, like just like the previous video I made, where it's like the subsumability of uh, Zephyrs will be buffed a lot. That is actually happening. Called it again, boys. I am the predictor of things. Let's have Pablo explain it to us. I did really good to like vertex that just lasts a little bit of time, but it basically is using less the same tech from. Uh, Gauss's Augment, if you have tried that. Gauss's so Mock cr Crash Augment mod is basically what this is. Her second ability. It's like a, a little mini vortex that just lasts a little bit of time, but uh, it is really good to, like, gather enemies. It's going to have about it's gonna have about 8 meter base range. ...to have, which was just, like, pushing them in a direction. So, uh, if, you, if you're in love of pulling enemies, you're in luck. Uh, let's do another one here. See, they get they stay they stay in there for a por portion of time as well. So look look for that just like my previous video on the subsumability for Zephyr. Look for that one being a budget alternative to Nidus or Korra. It will definitely not be better than Nidus or Korra. Um, their their second ability like Larva and, and Snare. But look at this. If you don't want to farm out a Korra or a Nidus to subsume, Zephyr is very easy to build. She comes from the clan dojo. This will be a good alternative and might be. Better in some very, very, very niche situations. Keep in mind, you also are going to still be able to keep the previous uh, usability where it can push enemies outwards as well. So, good stuff there. More aggressive sucking is always fun for us. Gathering them up for you to then exterminate. I heard three didn't change. As you can see, I've been using it. Three did not change at all. The same old three. Uh, the effects for all the abilities changed a little bit. We get Pablo little, is my favorite. A little bit of extra polish in there. Uh, now, for her fourth, we have a few things. Uh, you can do um, a whole version. The whole version will actually stay stationary in place. So if you hold down the fourth ability, it's stationary tornadoes. So basically, you can kind of dominate this uh, area right here. Uh, and Good for choke points, for sure. That guy. You can see how far he gets pulled now. The pull was increased maybe like 
three times something like that. It's like the triple of what it used to be. Uh, also, um, Zephyr is the best sucker in the game now, besides maybe Vauban. Before, to make them this big, you have to use your two to make them grow. Now they just start grown. They start fully grown. Those tornadoes look really cool. Too. So, uh, extra range and, and uh, bigger size from the get-go. Uh, we also added a quality of life thing. Uh, you can see, for example, here when they go up, um, as soon as, the, as he dies, he gets dropped from the tornado. So in the current version, you could get very easily confused. You wouldn't know, like, is that a ragdoll? Is that an enemy? Because there's just floating a tornado. Now This guy right here? This guy right here actually plays the game. This guy is not going to make it where you're, you need to have 30 wreckage built to be considered a Warframe Railjack veteran. This guy actually knows what's good, what's bad, to some extent. And this is the guy that should be promoted, honestly, and get a raise. Drop once they're dead, so you don't get confused about when to, when to stop shooting at them, basically. He is a treasure. Uh, and let's put one here so that you can see a little bit more of the, the change in range. You saw, like, how far... Let's see how... All right, so the range is increased. Let's just go over their dev workshop here before we call it a video, guys. Besides the fact... Pablo is a treasure, and we should treasure him. DE probably doesn't even deserve him. But he is passionate about the game, so good. All right, so let's go over this. Tailwind, remove the hold to charge mechanic from the beginning. Instead, made it so you can hold the ability at any time to while in the air to toggle into hovering mode. Uh, so basically, guys, with this new critical chance passive and the flying thing, Zephyr Brahma AC-130 or Zephyr Glaive Prime AC-130 Slash Machine is going to be a thing. Apache attack, attack Helicopter Zephyr, keep an eye out on it being potentially actually good. Uh, and unlike, you know, I, I don't have a Zephyr loadout slot right now. I'm going to make a Zephyr loadout slot right now. It's being made as we speak. All right, let's go ahead and do that because Zephyr will not be meta, but will be good enough to play. So that is a good thing for in, as far as I'm concerned. So, yes, yeah, so let's take a look at what these abilities actually do so we can maybe help you out a little bit here. All right, so her first ability. This is going to make it so you can fly in the air nearly permanently. You, if you have enough energy orbs and stuff, it will be permanent, most likely. So that's good. And also keep in mind, the AoE of the dive bomb portion of it when you land on the ground and the damage itself is being massively increased. You'll be able to do lots and lots and lots of damage with this ground pound, which apparently does impact damage, which is not too great. But still... Say you group all the enemies up with your second ability, dive in, uh, jump into the air, then dive onto them. It will be a nice little mini nuke. Um, I'm not going to call it like an AOE DPS or anything like that, but it is much better than it currently is. As you can see with their 500 damage at base. Um, so that's going to be part of her synergy combo. Maybe uh, the ultimate combo will be like use your tornadoes. Pull enemy, if the enemies don't get pulled into the tornadoes already, use the air burst to pull them into your tornadoes and then dive into your tornadoes to... Uh, Murderate all the enemies. So just finish going over this dev workshop. Um, the th the whole mechanic doesn't work very well because standing still in the warframe is so dangerous at high levels. So you can still move around. Increase the damage of dive bomb from 500 to 4,500, guys. That is a gigantic increase. And keep in mind, that does scale with strength. And there's an augment mod called Target Fixation for Zephyr where if you land on enemies, I think it does like even... Let's just take a look at it real quick. I don't even remember what it does. So keep in mind, this is un, this is not even a maxed out version of it. So target fixation for Zephyr. Each enemy hit increases tailwind damage by 40%. Damage resets upon being on the ground for two seconds. So um, this is not a good Zephyr build, by the way. We'll have a new Zephyr video coming out uh, as soon as this update does come out, which is probably going to be coming out with the Call of Tempestari, by the way. So at max rank, this target fixation is going to be 100%. Okay, so you, you have to basically get back into the air right away because it's still two seconds at max rank. But 100% increased damage. Uh, if that Even if that's just going off the base, 4,500 damage every um, for each enemy hit. Uh, that is going to be millions of damage potentially in the right situation if you're running a strength Zephyr build. So it's probably not actually good because, I mean... It's still like you having to jump up and down when like a melee can probably just kill them in one shot. But we are getting melee nerfs coming out at some time soon, so keep an eye on that one. Uh, so yeah, that might be a new viable build for Zephyr if, if people aren't already, already running that. Um, all right, air burst. Like we said, it's going to be a vortex now. Very nice. Um, the suck mechanic is being 
uh, pulled in there for the synergy of the tornado, so you can pull enemies into them. Turbulence, literally not changing at all. It's a very strong survivability ability. It's actually Zephyr's only good ability currently, at my in my opinion, unless you're doing some like tornado cheese. And then for tornado, reduce the number of tornadoes to three to prevent the enemies from getting too scattered, and increase the pull of the tornadoes so enemies and stay inside them more. The radius that tornadoes grab will be increased and include a default synergy with it. Airburst will no longer need to use the tornadoes bigger. And finally, to make stationary tornadoes, you just hold down the button. Rotating tornado, uh, roaming tornadoes will spawn on top of enemies still. Okay, cool. So very good stuff here. Honestly, very good stuff. Um, and like I think there was a comment from one of the forum moderators that deletes all the posts that um, you can still keep the previous functionality of air burst where it pushes the enemies away. So don't worry about that. And also you can apparently just, you know, fly into walls and get stuck on walls like Zephyr always does. So I, overall, guys, a good rework. Not as game-changing as the Neja rework, but um, I, I, it, it will make Zephyr playable. It will definitely make Zephyr playable. Um, and, you know, Air Burst... The biggest winner here is Air Burst, because the way this one works right now, the, the sucking is not very aggressive, um, and it's it's just not even fun. So, keep an eye on that being good. And the I, I'd say the biggest winner of all of this, honestly, is is the, the Helmet Subsume. As, as Air Burst is the one getting the... The most substantial uh, changes, and Air Burst is the um, Helm and Subsume ability from Zephyr. Just like our video from, like, weeks ago that called it. Uh, there you go. And you cannot give it double Air Burst, because that would just be too OP, apparently. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. I will see you next time. And thank you, Pablo, for being a treasure to the game. And uh, keep up the good work, dude. Other guys, you gotta definitely pick up some slack here that, uh, you know, just get on Pablo's level. If everyone at DE was on Pablo's level, we'd have one of the best games ever. Take it easy. Peace.